testing. Who even wants to guess? Not me. I just know that right this minute, my driver, Scooter Patrick, in car number 30, is moving under his own power. Lining up in back of the pack where they send all the did not qualifies like tardy school kids. And we're so far from perfect. Brand new tires that haven't been scrubbed in yet. No airfoil sticking up high to hold the back end down on turns. Suspension still not the way we want it, but... Well, as I said before, didn't I, uh, we're sure as hell gonna find out? Pace lap is over and everybody's got the green flag for go, everybody except Scooter. 37 seconds behind, four and on now to catch up with the rest to get his own flag. Three quarters of a mile behind the leader, Andrea Diadamich. Come on, Scooter, let's get it on. Here comes Scooter Patrick and it's the green flag for him, really out to catch the rest of them. Diadamich taking the lead, Posey second, Winterstein third, and it's Davey Hobbs fourth. These Formula A cars are racing at Lime Rock for the second time this season. car is David Hobbs. He was third on the starting grid with a qualifying speed of 105 miles an hour. But Scooter, even without the airfoil, is turning it on. Already passing slower cars. now 57 seconds 56 57 again and 55 feeling out the car and finding his own groove no question about it formula a is tough to handle the cars are light the weights in the rear and by the time you feel the back swinging around it's usually too late to do anything about it it's all finesse and artwork like driving grand prix cars the world champion graham hill pinned it down when he said we're executing a very fine balancing act on the edge of disaster Superstitious, that's lap 13. The race continues as the cars bunch up, but no passing will be allowed until the course is clear to the ambulance. It gives the other drivers time to think a little bit about this game. So far, four cars are out of the running with 17 still in. And by lap 27,